Going back thousands of years in ancient China, certain acupuncture points were considered to be more efficacious or more powerful than others, meaning that you could access certain clinical conditions easier from a certain location on the body, or that these points either had more qi or had more access to the qi of the body. Now in this video, I thought we would discuss three of the more famous traditional acupuncture points. We'll discuss three of the ways you can do acupressure on each of them. We'll talk about some of the historical and cultural significance. And of course, we'll also talk about what they can actually do and what they can actually treat. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Alex Hine, board licensed acupuncturist and doctor of traditional Chinese medicine and author of the health book, Master of the Day. So let's jump into point number one. Now there's a really interesting story about the power of the acupuncture points and the acupuncture channels to both diagnose and treat disease. You know, you might be familiar with the acupuncture points only being used to, let's say, treat a headache or to treat a stomach ache or indigestion. But you might not know, the channels are also used to diagnose problems. There's a great story that I love in a book called Applied Channel Theory. Now, this is a guy named Jason Robertson describing his experience with one of his mentors in China on a train. And he said, you know, Dr. Wang was explaining to me how you can use the channels to diagnose illness in the body, especially illness that has not entered the interior of the body, like something that is acute, but hasn't become so acute yet that it's now a real serious illness. And he said, you know, for example, one time when we were on the train, we were just doing a physical exam on someone's lower leg on the stomach channel. Now, in particular, this point on the stomach channel is often used to diagnose inflammatory conditions in the intestines. And sometimes it can be used to diagnose conditions like dysentery, like traveler's diarrhea. When you eat bad food abroad, you get this horrible diarrhea or sometimes nausea vomiting as well, and you're sick for two or three days. He was feeling the leg of one of the men that was there, one of the, the students, and he said, you know, this is very unusual. On the stomach channel here, you have this unusual change in texture and quality on this point. Usually it indicates like a lower GI, like a diarrhea or like a dysentery kind of condition. The guy said, no. I don't really have any of that. You know, it's kind of nonsense what you're talking about. So he thought, oh, you know, okay, well, it's not one-to-one -one diagnostic perfect science, but it's just something to observe a correlation. About 30 minutes later, the guy ends up running to the bathroom and his food poisoning from the night before had actually just set in. And he began to get violently ill with dozens of rounds of diarrhea, etc., on this train. Came back all sweaty from the bathroom 30 minutes later, and he was mind blown that Dr. Wong was able to predict this condition before he even felt anything. After that time, all these, you know, these other, I think they were like communist guards, they all came and they were mind blown and he got all this notoriety and all this fame on this train ride. The acupuncture points and channels are used to both treat as well as diagnose. Now, if you guys are curious about what some of the actual signs and symptoms of certain organ conditions are, like what's a stomach issue, what's a gallbladder issue, what's a kidney issue, what's a heart issue, from my professional point of view, make sure you download the quiz right below this video. We took a lot of time to put together this quiz. It's just called the root cause quiz. And inside of it, we break down the top five or 10 symptoms of each organ network as we label them in TCM. And you can basically go through and score yourself and say, these are the top five symptoms of let's say gallbladder and stomach issues or signs you have fatty liver or you have nervous system dysregulation and what organs they relate to. We've also taken the time to link to other videos we've produced on this exact topic so that if you decide, hey, digestion is my main problem, we have the top five or 10 videos that will help you self-diagnose in that regard as well. So it's the first link right below the video. Check it out because I really do think it can help a lot. Now, famous point number one is called Zhu San Li, stomach 36. So Zhu San Li, depending on who you ask, if you take your four fingers like this, you put them below your knee there, and then you put one finger breath along your shin bone. That juicy muscle there going all the way down is the stomach channel, right? Or at least the lower half of it. And Zhu San Li is located right about here on the stomach channel, right? About four fingers down and one finger off the midline. This point is one of the most famous in traditional Chinese medicine history. It was a point that is famously been used for not only stomach and digestive issues or intestinal issues, it's also used for improving immunity. Famous Dr. Sun Tzu Miao, one of the ancient iconic doctors in his profession, he said that Zhu San Li is a point you can moxibustion excessively when you are going to a part of like China, a part of the world where there's lots of contagions and epidemics. Meaning if there are lots of viral infections, potential bad bacteria you can catch, there's a lot of illness in that area, moxibustion 
on the Zusan Li will improve your yang qi, as you call it, or zheng qi. Now, go figure, modern research supports this, that moxibustion on this point will actually improve your immune system functioning. Other research has shown, for example, stomach 36 can improve gastric motility, it can modulate your immune function, and even has analgesic effects, so it has pain-killing effects as well. Sometimes when acupuncture is utilized for acupuncture anesthesia, Zusan Li is one of the points that is most commonly clinically used. Point number two that's incredibly useful is called Yongquan or kidney one. The kidney channel is often used for a lot of issues involving nervous system dysregulation and upsurging sensations. You know, sometimes we see this a lot in insomnia and anxiety. Sometimes it's with panic attacks. Sometimes it's just in general where people are stressed all the time and they feel like they can't quite come down. So Yongquan is sometimes translated as like bubbling or gushing spring. And to locate this point, it's on the bottom of the foot, and to generalize, it's about one third down from the top of your foot there. So if you slide your finger in the base of your foot, all the way up until you feel the balls, the bottom of the balls, you'll feel this one area and you can feel the sensation is very distinct. You push in there and it often feels good to massage. It's sort of like a soothing or calming kind of quality to it. Now, Yongquan, is often used for grounding properties. Basically, it's used to calm the mind and the emotions, used for anxiety, insomnia, and agitation. And even contemporary research has showed that its benefits for needling it will help conditions like hypertension, so high blood pressure, anxiety, and even lots of kinds of neurological disorders. Useful point number three is called hugu, or LI4. Now, to find LI4, this is pretty easy to locate. You basically find the meat between your thumb and your pointer finger, the highest part of that meat typically is where acupuncturists will needle hugu or li4. Now hugu basically you can either massage it by pressing into it for example one two three and you can keep doing that for basically you know two to five minutes once on each side and actually for each of these points that's how i'd recommend to stimulate them massage them for let's say five minutes on each side you can do it while you're watching netflix at the end of the day or while you're watching a show. And LI4 is typically one of the most powerful points for pain relief. It's also used to alleviate headaches, toothaches, and pain in various parts of the body. Now, what's interesting is that studies have been done showing that LI4 can actually help induce labor for women who are pregnant, and they're trying to induce the labor a little bit more quickly. It can be used to promote uterine contractions and facilitate childbirth in that way. And also, other research has shown it's very effective in pain management, especially migraine and tension type headaches. So if you've seen some of my short form videos, LI4 is often used for headaches. All right guys, so three very useful, famous acupressure points that you can use every day for varying health issues. Again, don't forget, I work with a limited number of new patients every single month in my clinic in Los Angeles or virtually via telemedicine. If you'd like to reach out, work with me or someone I've personally trained in my clinic, just go to dralexhine.com forward slash clinic or all the information, the phone number, the email, the booking link is all right below as well. And then before you go, don't forget, two other resources for you here. One is download that quiz because it's really great at assessing where your symptoms are coming from here. And then I have another related video right here on acupressure points you can use every single day.